And here we are again with Forever Football Show in our last segment. And then we're also going to show you the go of the week, the save of the week, and the miss of the week. I guess everybody knows which the miss of the week was already. I hope so. Uh, well, anyways, so let's go to, let's go to, to EPL first. Uh, no big news again there, uh, except for the fact that Arsenal actually won. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So they, 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 they broke their streak of ties. Yeah. And now they are what? The, how, seven points. So now they're seven points away, but they have a but game they have in one, hand. So yeah. they can narrow that lead to uh, four points. And those four points that they wasted in the last few weeks? Six points they wasted in the last uh, three. Yeah. But I don't think it's doable anymore. They have an outside chance. They can potentially be in a, a similar position as Napoli. Not, not quite so nice. You know, that, that four point. The difference. hope is that you know, Chelsea gives them a really hard time this week. And Manchester gets a little bit, you know, if they get eliminated and sort of like emotionally yeah, I mean, they are unstable. playing the Champions League as well. So it's like where they put more weight towards, you know, or they can continue pushing. They have full a roster and that ball. they can play three competitions at a time. Yeah. That's the thing. And Alex Ferguson rotates naturally. It's not that he, wait, he waits for a player to be injured or, yeah. or tired. He just always rotates. He, the team finds a way to play. Yeah even with different starting lines. It's yeah. amazing. Yeah, yeah, I agree. It's, it, 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 it is incredible. I think um, Arsenal really missed some chance this year because they, they had a good roster, but at the same time, they were not so concentrated on the, on the EPL this time. And, you know, but three ties in a row, really losing a six yeah. point is too much. And you cannot give this advantage to a Manchester United. And, you know, they, now they, have, uh, they are in a good spirit. You know, then victory helps to, be, oh, to yeah. win other games. You know, it's they are going to be maybe in the semifinal as a, of Champions League, as we were saying. And there is seven points ahead. I think they have all the things in their favor right now. That's and we'll cheer about. for them because we want to play the, the European champions when they come here. Exactly. Right. Can we imagine, like, you know, if they start with that thing of, like, starting 11 and then playing, you know, bench versus bench? Imagine our bench versus their bench. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> their bench will have Chicharito, Rafael, Fabio. Yeah, it's uh, incredible. Giggs. Yeah. Giggs, by the way, you know, the guy is, like, he's you know, he's been playing for... 30 years. Yeah, yeah he's uh, the guy like... <laughs> he's been in Manchester United for 20 years. Yeah, he's like Zanetti, you know, he's this kind, this kind of guy that is a blessing to have in your team, you know, it's, they, are, they are incredible. And he did the, the move, the move that resulted yeah. in, in Rooney's goal against oh, uh, yeah. Chelsea. Yeah, I think the only bad news for Manchester United is just that Rooney was sent out for two, uh, for two games because he, he offended... Uh, um, uh, someone during the game, but uh, that was in the EPL only. In EPL, uh, yeah. EPL, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's gonna rush he, to. He cursed play. into a camera. Yeah, and, uh, well, they have yeah. Berbatov, they have Chicharito. They, yeah. you know, they no, don't really need Rooney yeah, to be it, the it, champions. It, it hasn't right. been Rooney's year. No, no, but it, it, it is nice that he was complaining. But that actually, in a way, I think is right. And I like the the approach of um, English people here. Say, you know. Maybe with another guy, we didn't give him any of this uh, penalty. But you know, since you are so important, so famous yeah. for kids, I think exactly. I mean, what what kind of role model is that? You know, I mean, you score a goal, you should celebrate, not you know, yeah. run cursing into the camera. It's yeah. not a surprise, right? It's Rooney yeah. has always been Rooney, and yeah. it maybe even a little bit more tame than in the past. Yeah. yeah. But now the best league. Yeah. In the entire universe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's for sure. I don't know if it's the, the, uh, the best. The most league. entertaining. At exactly. Least, right? I, that's what I would say. You know, again, and nothing changed in the compare last week. So Napoli... Well, it changed that you have one, one less round as an e, opportunity. E, yeah, and as I say last week, unfortunately, Napoli is not just three points away, but four, unfortunately, because we lost the, the direct match with the Milan. So, uh, you know, uh, today I was hoping that Fiorentina could beat uh, or at least uh, stop AC Milan in a tie, but it uh, didn't happen at all. Okay. AC Milan played very well and um, really, it's, you know, not, nothing to say. Six games left. Uh, AC Milan leading the Serie A with three points um, uh, had Napoli and five points had uh, um, Inter. So the only good thing that maybe can uh, can be different compared to the last week is that Udinese lost another game and now they are all uh, very close, all this team, Lazio, Udinese, Roma and Juventus, which makes very interesting the fight for the, champ the last position for Champions League. Yeah. And Milan, AC Milan has to play with Roma. Just Roma, from and the Rome. And, and Udinese, right? and, and Udinese, with both. Yeah. So it's going to be two difficult games for AC Milan. Yeah. Because two teams that are going to be gunning for that Europa e League spot. Yeah. Ex exactly, exactly. But th that also means it might be tough for uh, Napoli as well with 
with Inter and Juventus. Uh, yeah, but we, time, you know, there is Na Napoli cannot count on anything. Napoli yeah. can just count on Juventus the last game. Yeah. I think Juventus still doesn't have too many chances to get to go into the Champions League. Yeah. I don't like the way they played yesterday. Even though they, it's three uh, strike, th three victories in a row. But I, I think for that time Juventus is going to be in the Europa League and not fighting for a. Uh, for the Champions League and about Inter Milan if you want won the Liga and if you want the second position they come to your house which is uh, San Paolo in Napoli you have to win with them there is nothing no one is going to give you anything uh, from mm -hmm. that uh, from that game Napoli has to win that game so um, if my team is not able to do that then it's you know what we are talking here so it's oh they'll, they'll have to do their their homework to yeah. expect the freebies I from the other teams. I think yeah. next week Napoli is going to play with Udinese, and it's going to be happen. Uh, it's going to happen uh, Sunday night, and AC Milan is going to play with Sampdoria, which seems a very easy game, even though Sampdoria is is a uh, you know they are losing I think three or four games in a row. But uh, if they lose also the other one, they really can risk to go to second division. So we'll see. I think if AC Milan win also next Saturday night, I think that's going to be very very hard. So. We'll see. We'll have lots to cover next week. For now, we are, we are staying here with Forever Football Show. We'll leave you with the go of the week, the save of the week, and the miss of the week. And we'll see you next week in foreverfootballshow.com.